It is a fixture that always carries plenty of intrigue. Two clubs who represent an unconditional commitment to excellence. Stay with us for all the live action from the Emirates. Arsenal against Manchester City. Always a terrific venue to watch a football match. I'm talking about the Emirates Stadium here in North London. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and ready to provide expert analysis alongside me is Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Arsenal facing Manchester City. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. And so the starting 11 for Arsenal. Aaron Ramsdale as the goalkeeper. Bukayo Saka plays with Leandro Trossard out wide. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. And a look at the starting 11 for Manchester City. Ederson is the goalkeeper. Emerick Laporte starts alongside Manuel Akanji in central defence. Rodri plays alongside Calvin Phillips in the centre of midfield. And it's an interesting looking attacking constellation with three forwards listed from the start. Thank you for attending the Emirates Stadium. Enjoy the match. Potentially exciting 90 minutes here, and Manchester City get the ball rolling. Good movement. Holland. Rodri. Back to Holland. And now it's Phillips. And a body in the way. Can he deliver it with accuracy? And a struggle to get it away properly. Mares. Well, another corner, hot on the heels of the last one. Taken short. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Well, you never quite know who's going to emerge from the shadows and become a match winner, but this man might be a decent shout. What are you expecting to see from him, Stuart? Well, it's his ability with the ball at his feet that makes him such a good player. He can go past defenders with ease, he can play in tight areas, and he has that bit of trickery as well. I'm really looking forward to seeing him play today. Just made sure nothing came of that. Caicedo. And threading it forward. He might profit from here, you know. And a goal to give them the lead. They have their reward. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. Good vision to set up the chance. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. One nil then. Number 19, 
The referee has decided to give the free kick decision the way of City. Well, he might have been tempted to caution him, but didn't, Stuart. Yeah, and I like that from the referee. It's not a yellow card for me. Mares. This could be the equaliser. But oh, what an important save. How about that? Well, at least he hit the target, but he should really beat the keeper from there. They should be level now. Short corner favourite. And after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw-in. Oh, he's given the ball away unnecessarily. In with a chance! Martinelli, real chance! And it goes! Delighted to be two in front! Things look good for them now! Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. But I don't think the keeper should be beaten in his near post quite so easily. I thought that was stoppable. So underway once more. 2-0 the lead here. Mares. Strong play here. Gundogan. Oh, stylish ball. What can they do now? Mares. Well, a top-notch piece of defensive judgment. As you can see, Arsenal are seeing less of the ball, but their counter-attacking has been really good, particularly in the wide areas. It's been an excellent performance from them so far. And having to soak up a bit of pressure again here. And there it is! Still life left in this game, and they have the momentum now. Well, as you can see, he hits this with so much power, but just look at the follow-through. So athletic. That's a dynamic strike. Well, 2-1 it is here. And an astute piece of defending. And scope for them to produce something exciting. Oh, a goal for Arsenal! It's theirs to lose now. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease, and it's just a change of pace. But I think the keeper has made a mistake here. While it's a decent finish, it should go in at that near post. Well, that's a tale of four goals in this match now. Three, one it is. Kevin De Bruyne. Excellent defending. Gabriel Martinelli. Oh, surely. And begging to be put away. A goal! How about that? He's put it away to make it a hat trick. Well, let's take another look. Yeah, he won't get an easier finish than that. The defending was all over the place, though.
So the game continues and Arsenal cantering to victory now. Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have three extra minutes. Holland. Given away by City. And time is up as far as the first half is concerned here at the Emirates. Well, there's a sound reason why we're focusing on him. He's making his presence felt in attack, Stuart. Well, he's been at his best today. He just seems to get his shots away so easily and he's taking his goals really well. Brilliant stuff from him. So the ball moving, the pendulum has already swung Arsenal's way in this game. Will we see more of the same in the second half? Martinelli, nicely timed tackle. Stones. Can he find the right pass? An important interception. Oh, really good reflexes and danger averted. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready and now they will make the personnel change. Now, how about the short corner? John Stones. Akanji. On to Holland. Timely intervention. Tossard. Ben White. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. Oh, so close to opening up the defence. De Bruyne. Holland. Bodies forward and the break looks on. In behind for him to chase. A goal! And I'll tell you what, on this sort of form, very few would lay a glove on them. Well, we can see it again now, and it all starts with the pass over the top. It takes out so many defenders. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. A glut of goals. 5-1 it is. John Stones, and it might be. There it is, a fantastic goal, and no wonder he's off celebrating. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself, and he makes the finish look so easy. What a good goal that is. Martin Odegaard, and it wasn't a great pass, was it? He continues his run. Gundogan. De Bruyne. Well, how about that for a piece of tackling to break things up? And he went strongly into the challenge, and the result is a throw-in. 
Substitution time it is here. Manuel Akanji. A quarter of an hour remaining here. In position. Well, hit with ferocity when accuracy was required. Coming off the pitch, number 11, Gabriel Martinelli. Coming onto the pitch, number 14, Andy Nketiah. Substitution for Manchester City. Coming off the pitch, number 9, Erling Haaland. To be replaced by number 20, Bernardo Silva. Well, this game ebbing away and Arsenal have been brilliant, Stuart. Well, the result has never really been in doubt, has it? They've created so many chances with some brilliant attack in play. I think they've looked an outstanding team today. Now can they counter clinically? Grossard. Another goal! The lead grows to four now. A rampant display. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Alvarez. Now with Silva. Grealish. Grealish. Well, no mistake from the keeper acting decisively. De Bruyne on to Gundogan can he finish and still an opportunity and thumped away and Bernardo Silva has it well he needed to read it to get there and did well not every keeper would have been that brave well he read it brilliantly didn't he top and so that is that the referee blows for full time a victory for Arsenal well Derek what a good performance that was they did most things right and their attacking play was inventive and had a real cutting edge that was a really dominant display from them today